Welcome to homecampus.com.sg. Let's learn how to round off decimals. But what is rounding off? The rounding off is a method to approximate values. Say you have a number like 1.93864312, something like this, okay? Now, there are so many places after the decimal point in this number. There are too many decimal places. And sometimes you don't care about the exact value of the number. Sometimes you care only until, uh, say, the first decimal place or the second decimal place or the third decimal place, okay? And the rest of the digits, you say, you don't care about okay then in those cases you would round off also sometimes when you do operations such as say 4 divided by 7 okay now 4 divided by 7 is 0 0.571428 571428 5714 and then there'll be 28 so what this means is that you know when you do 4 divided by 7 you get a string of you get an endless string of decimal places. Well, 4 divided by 7 is 0 0.571428. Then this 571428 repeats itself endlessly. You'll have another 571428, then 571428, and it'll go on forever. It's an endless string of decimal places that you really don't care about. Maybe you care about only until the tenths place or the hundredths place or the thousandths place. But after that, you're saying you don't care about all the trailing decimal places. Then in that case, you would round off until the thousandths place, until this guy over here. And the rest of the trailing decimal places, you just ignore. So this is when rounding off comes in handy. All right, so let's see how to round off decimals. What I'm going to do is I'm going to give you a problem, and through this problem, we'll try to understand how rounding off works. All right, so what we've got is that Kelly had 5 kgs of potatoes. She gave 2.125 kgs of potatoes to Amy and 1.46 kgs of potatoes to Sam. How much potatoes had Kelly left? Round off your answer to the hundredths place. All right, so let's uh, do a quick model here. The model will be for potatoes, the five kgs of potatoes that Kelly had at first. Okay, so Kelly had five kgs of potatoes at first. This is your potatoes and these are five kgs. Okay, so this is five kg. Out of that, she gave 2.125 to Amy. So this is your 2.125 kgs. Okay, let's fill in some color. Let's say this. And then she gave 1.46, maybe 1.46 is until here. She gave that. And this is 1.46 kgs, okay? 1.46 kgs. And the rest is what's left. So this is how much is left. And maybe we fill in another color for that. Let's see, pink. So this is how much Amy got. This is how much Sam got, and this is how much Kelly is left with. All right. Now, how much is Kelly left with? Let's do some quick calculations. What she had was she had 5 kgs. She gave 2.125 to Amy and 1.46 to Sam. So how much is that equal to? How much is she left with? Well, it's 5 minus 2.125. That's, uh, let's put some zeros here. And to the calculations, you borrow 1. This is 9, this is 9, and this is 4. Okay, so you have 5 here, 7 here, 8 here, and 2 here. So she has 2.875 after giving 2.125 to Amy. So she has 2.875 and she gives 1.46 to Sam. Okay, so 1.460 because the top number has got 3 places after decimal point. All right, so now this is 5, 1, 4, and 1. Okay, so she's left with 1.415 kgs of potatoes. Well, these are all kgs, so I'm going to put kg here, and this is kg. All right, so she has 1.415 kgs of potatoes left. So this guy over here is equal to 1.415 kgs. But what is the question asking you to do? It's asking you to round off your answer to the hundredths place. Okay, let's write down the answer one more time. What we have is we have 1.415. Well, this is the ones place. This is the tenths place. 
this is the hundredths place and this is the thousandths place. So the hundredths place is this. So what this is telling is you must care only until the hundredths place, this guy over here. And the rest of the digits after that, you don't care about. So just drop these. But before you drop them, you need to round off this number. Now let's put this on a number line, okay? Let me move this part over here a bit to the top. So I have uh, room here. All right. So say you have a number line here. And this is your... 1.415 and after this is 1.416, 1 1.417, 1 1.418, 1 1.419, 1 1.420, 1 1.421 and so on. And on the other side of the number line you would have 1.414. 1 1.413, 1 1.412, 1 1.411, 1 1.410, and so on. Okay, now on this number line, if you round off to the hundreds place, the new number could be either 1.420, in which case it's rounded up, or if it's rounded down, then the new number would be 1.410. Now, our job is to find out whether this number should be rounded up or rounded down. Now, when you have to round off a number to the hundredths place, okay, hundredths place, which is this, what you do is you study the digit in the thousandths place, okay? Now, if this digit is greater than 5 or equal to 5, then you round up. So, the new number is 1.420. Or if this digit is less than 5, then you round down. So, the new number is 1.410. So calculation-wise, what you do is, since this digit is equal to 5, you know you have to round up. So all you do is increase the digit in the hundredths place by 1. So you add 1 to this, and what you get is 1.41 becomes 1.42. So rounding up will give you 1.42, which means this guy over here, this one, 1.420 or 1.42. Actually, you'll have to drop this 0 as well. So 1.42. But if suppose you had got an answer like 1.413, okay, which would be somewhere over here, then in that case, you would round down and the new number would be 1.41, which is to say that you care only until the hundredths place. This digit in the thousandths place is less than 5, so you just ignore it. You don't do anything to the rest of the number to the left, and it stays as such. So it's 1.41 because this 0 will be dropped as well, so it's 1.41. Well, in our case, we have the answer as 1.415, so this is just crossed out, and we rounded it off to get 1.42 kgs. So Kelly is left with 1.42 kgs of potatoes. One more thing. Now, do note that every single number to the right of 1.415, which is all these numbers, would be rounded up, while all these numbers to the left of 1.415 would be rounded down. And that's because all these numbers are closer to 1.41 than they are to 1.42, while on this side, all these numbers are closer to 1.42 than they are to 1.41, and therefore they'll all be rounded up. Now, it so happens that our answer, 1.415, is the middle case, okay? It's at the same distance from 1.41 as it is to 1.42, and in such cases, you always round up. All right, so that's that about this problem. How about we solve one more really quickly? So let's do that. What I've got is I've got one liter of petrol costs $2.198. If John paid $20 to the cashier, how much petrol did he buy? Give your answer correct to three decimal places. So let's solve this quickly. What we've got is John paid $20 to the cashier for petrol that he bought. Okay, so this is petrol and this is worth $20 and what we know is that one liter of petrol costs $2.198. Okay, so maybe this guy over here is equal to $2.198. Okay. And this is one liter of petrol. So this is one liter of petrol. And there are a few more liters of petrol here. Okay, a few more of these pink blocks. And then 
there is some left over here. Okay, so this is another pink, 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 and this may be left over with paint in blue. Now we don't know how many liters, so what we'll have to do is we'll have to maybe break it somewhere over here and make something like this so this is broken this is one liter another one liter and maybe some more one liter one liter over here but we don't know how many so we just break this one and this is the leftover the remainder okay which is less than one liter so the remainder all right now let's do some quick calculations what we have is john paid twenty dollars to the cashier and he bought petrol at 2.198 dollars per liter so then how much uh, petrol did he buy? Let's see, let's use a calculator. Uh, we have 20 divided by 2.198. That's equal to 9.09918. Okay, 9.09918. So he bought 9.09918 liters of petrol with $20. So this means that there were nine one liters, okay? So this means that there were nine one liter blocks, okay? There are one. Now going back to the model diagram. <clears throat> now going back to the model diagram, this is telling you that there are nine of these pink blocks, okay? So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and this is the ninth one. And this remainder is equal to point zero nine nine one eight liters all right now what is this asking you to do well it's asking you to give your answer correct to three decimal places three decimal places means this is place number one this is place number two and this is place number three so only until here and the rest of the digits you can just drop but before you drop you need to round off right now because we have to round off to three decimal places we must check the digit in the fourth place now in the fourth place this digit is less than five so we said before that we don't do anything, we just ignore and we keep the rest of the number as such. So you just drop all these and the answer correct to three decimal places is 9.099 liters. So that's your answer. And this symbol over here is for approximately, okay, rounding off approximately to 9.099 liters. All right, that's all I want to talk about for this lesson for now. I hope you got what I taught and I hope that you'll go and do some practice now at www.homecampus.com.sg. This is M signing off for now. Bye-bye.